Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are continuing our Viking factions with Northumbra, one of the great Viking army kingdoms. Beginning as always with generals, you have Warlord's Companions, an elite sword infantry unit featuring the highest shield rating in the game, not to mention extremely high melee stats, armor, and morale. The other option is a tier 3 elite axe royal Huskarls, and while they have no shields, the amount of melee damage and charge bonus more than makes up for a lack of defensive ability. Moving on to Spearmen, the Levy Curl, Feared, and Danelaw Spearmen are extremely cheap, but do suffer from low morale, relatively low melee skill, and damage, as well as little armor. Bump up to the retinue Northumbrian Thanes and Mailed Thanes though, and you'll see a drastic increase in morale and melee damage with a bit more armor to help deflect those ranged attacks. Swordsmen in Northumbra's armies are definitely not too shabby in terms of melee, shield, and armor, but across the board, their stats can be matched or even beat by their spearmen counterparts with the added bonus of having more armor-piercing damage applied. This means it might be more economical to leave swordsmen behind unless you're just a really big fan of having them in your army. Of course, as a Viking army, Northumbra has access to an excellent variety of axemen. Their Levy Curl, Danelaw, and Long Axemen all show some great potential, especially with the 50-60% armor piercing damage factor mentioned in the last video. But as we've seen, it's completely worth the investment to get into your retinue and elite axemen. Your Berserkers and Shield Biters will scare local units, while your Huskarls will simply charge the enemy and shred them to bits with their crazy high melee damage stats. North Humbra shares their Norse in-game brethren's affinity for bowmen. Your Levy Bows of course match those of about every other bowman in the game, but your Armored Archers and Danelaw Armored Archers receive dramatic increases in morale, missile damage, accuracy, and of course armor, with very little extra expense added in. Your Northumbrian Skirmishers are a surprise, as both the Curl and Danelaw Javelin men have a very high shield rating of 25 and 30 respectively, double that of most shielded skirmishers with high accuracy and high missile damage typical of the javelin class. On to melee cab, Northumbra does pretty dang good from retinue Thane, Jarl, and Danelaw mailed horsemen, all showing great melee skill, melee damage, armor, and morale. While not the strongest cavalry in the game, they are definitely more than a force to be reckoned with. Northumbra stands out a bit more among the Viking armies. Their spearmen are strong and very defensively solid, while their Axemen variety provides you the opportunity to either rush in front to attack or wait for a more strategic counterattack after the initial waves hit your front lines. Your archers will be able to stand up to a fight much longer than the other factions, and with your nicely padded stat horsemen, you should be more than able to keep your flank safe while threatening the enemy's own. That's all for North Humbra, the first great Viking army faction. We will continue with East Angle in the next video. If you enjoyed the series, do leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next video.